What's going on, Jeff fans? As expected, Zach Wilson will not play Thursday night against the Cleveland Browns. He is out uh, still with the concussion. So Trevor Simeon versus Joe Flacco in prime time. That's exactly what we all envisioned when we circled this one on our calendar in August, right? And you have to wonder, is that it for Zach as a member of the Jets? Is it worth it to anybody to roll him out there one last time against the New England Patriots? You have to think um, the Jets are going to look to trade him. Uh, you'd have to assume that's what he would want. Uh, you, and there's been reports by Connor Hughes and others that the Jets pretty much told him um, that they would be trading him uh, this offseason when there was the whole reluctant to play debacle and how much could we get for Zach Wilson. You know, it just takes one GM, one head coach to say, hey, I can I can fix that guy. I'd be shocked if we got anywhere near the Sam Darnold package. Um, number one, that's aged as an egregious overpay by the Carolina Panthers to spend that, you know, and pick up the, the fifth year option for a backup quarterback slash bridge starter. And um, I think, well, I know that Zach is has a worse resume on a better roster than Darnold did. So, I mean, what, fourth-round pick maximum, that's what Trey Lance went for. I think Denver could be a team um, if the Jets want to do business with them. You know, somewhere, small market, where there's a an established starter that a team could just take a flyer on him as, like, their quarterback three reclamation project, kind of what the Jets were supposed to do this year, but they decided to make him their quarterback two, and that ended up leading to him being done in New York. So if the Jets were really serious about um, resurrecting Zach Wilson's career, then he should have never been the backup this year because you knew once that once he's going out there and do a Hackett-led offense um, with Dwayne Brown and Becton, Becton as your starting tackles and Lazard as your wide receiver too, the writing on the wall, wall was right there. Nobody serious could have imagined it going any differently this year under those circumstances. So that's on the Jets. If they really were about this, him making this Steve Young turnaround, then he should have never been quarterback too. And if you're an ardent Zach Wilson truther, he, you should have been on the on the team of he shouldn't be playing. Because why would you want a guy to play in a situation which you deem his success is impossible? So that was a mistake from the, ju- from the jump. Uh, so we'll see. Fourth round pick. I'd take it. Go Jets.